Hello everybody, it is me, Mr. Vince, and I hope you all have a great day today. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how jailbreak trading would work. Now, some people have already made videos regarding jailbreak trading, but I decided to make a video on it as well because the April update is coming a little closer and it will be released in about two weeks from now because April is in two weeks. So obviously we're going to be having an update on that weekend all right so number one my information about trading may not be accurate that means it may or may not come when jailbreak trading releases and number two trading may not release in the april update because asimo and bat cc are working on something extremely cool for that update but with that being said, Jobrick's fifth birthday is in a month from now. So obviously we are going to be expecting something that's going to be surprising for a lot of people. Now if you have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and be sure to subscribe as well and please hit the bell icon to never miss a video. Alright, so anyways, the first thing we are going to be expecting for trading is actually a trade menu. In Adopt Me, you have to walk up to someone to trade with them as long as the option for trading has been enabled for both of you. In Jailbreak, the same applies, except you do not need to go up to someone to trade with them, but instead you just have to go to a menu in order to trade with someone. But once again, you have to make sure that you and the player you're going to be trading with have their option set to on, which means you'll be able to trade with them. If not, you cannot. Now I believe there's going to be some option like all and friends and none. So you'll be able to trade with anyone, you can trade with friends, or you can trade with no one. Alright, so once you decide to trade with someone, if you have any vehicle or garage item that costs money or is limited, you'll be able to trade with them. However, if you do not, you should not be able to trade with them because the only thing you have is probably the Camaro, so please don't really expect to trade with them if you only have a free vehicle and that's it. Like, why would you trade off your Camaro for something very, very expensive, such as a Torpedo or the Arachnid? Alright, so let's continue on. Trading is probably the main part of this video, and it is the main core of the video. So let's talk about the trading itself. So when you're trading with someone, you'll be able to give out any vehicle or garage item as long as it costs money or is limited. That means you can't give off your vehicles that are free because those vehicles are completely free. Now the question is, when you have a game pass that actually gives you a vehicle such as the Celestial or the Swamp Pan, do you have the ability to give it away? And I would say I hope not. Because why would you give off a game pass vehicle that requires you to buy a game pass just for you to give it off? In Adami, you are able to buy as many of those game pass vehicles as you want. In Jailbreak, it is the complete opposite. You cannot. And you can only have one. So basically, in the next update or so, if you have the ability to trade and you have a Game Pass vehicle, you should not be able to give it away because you would lose that Game Pass vehicle and your Game Pass is probably going to be useless. So I hope you can't trade your Game Pass vehicles away. However, I don't really worry about the vehicles that cost money, such as the Torpedo or the Arachnid. Those vehicles, you probably get my point, am I right? So let's go ahead and move on. When trading with someone, you should be able to give out an offer for that offer. So for example, if I am trading with a user, and I'll go ahead and give myself an example. So if I am trading with, hello, it's Fiji, and I say that I'm going to give my beam for the Audi R8, then VG has the ability to accept or decline. If VG accepts the trade and I accept it as well, both of us will be able to trade off our vehicles and I will receive the Audi and VG will receive the Beam. However, if one of us declines, either me or VG have the ability to decline, then the trading cancels itself and we're not able to trade unless we interact with each other for trading again. So that's something I like to take a 
consideration. However, that may not be true. Although I am going to guarantee that it's going to happen next update or so when trading comes out. Now what happens if you try to trade with someone in which you cannot trade with? So that means if their setting has been set to friends or none or any of that, then you basically don't have the privilege to trade with them. However, you can trade with them if they're your friend and they are set it to friends. So just keep that in mind, all right? So next up, can you donate cash? No. And I'll go ahead and explain. So the reason why you cannot donate cash is because Jailbreak is following a rule where you cannot donate real money for Jailbreak cash. And I can definitely see what's going on. Why would you sell cash for real money? Like that is just wrong, man. You can't donate cash for real money. That is unfair. It is against the rules and you shouldn't be able to donate cash in the first place. Now, some people have speculated that you were able to give out cash during trading, but that is false. You cannot. Like, I'm being serious. You cannot give out cash because of the donation limit in jailbreak. So I can definitely see what's going on here. And even VGZ agrees with this. Like he says that there's a limit to how much you can donate and if they add the ability to give out cash during trading, it is against the rules and jailbreak might potentially be deleted because of that rule. And it is part of the Roblox Terms of Surface, where you cannot donate cash for your money. So just keep that in mind. Alright, so how many people can you trade with in a single server? Well, you can trade with anyone in that server. As long as they're in that server you're in, you can trade with them. Alright. So let me go ahead and explain one last thing that is regarding the April update. April's update currently has no information aside from the fact that there is going to be some orange according to SCMO3089. As we did get a leak about it and basically it shot off an orange image and I believe it's going to be regarding the prison. So we might expect the prison to be updated next update. Although I'm hoping there's a live event because Jailbreak's fifth birthday is next month. So we might have a live event and trading in that update. Because Jailbreak's birthday usually contains the best stuff out of every other update during the year aside from the winter update. Because the winter update usually is a very big Jailbreak update. So hopefully we do get a live event and trading in the same update. Because if they do that, then I think that is the best update that Jailbreak has ever done in an extremely long time. But we do know that Season 9 is releasing next update, so you do need to grind up 399 Robux to buy that Season Pass. Because like most of the other seasons, except for Season 4, because Season 4 was the only season in which the Season Pass costed 299 Robux, you have to buy the Season Pass for 399 Robux. So hopefully, we do get some of the coolest stuff that we never had in Jailbreak history. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. If you have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell icon to never miss a video. And as always, my name is Mr. Vince. Hope you all have a fantastic day. And I'm sorry if I had to take some time on this. It took me a little while to do this, so hopefully you guys understand. And I'll see you guys in the next video.